Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in this episode of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast, I want to talk about my favorite crisis management movie. And that movie, although there's a lot of contenders that are out there, my favorite crisis management movie is the movie Contagion. Contagion was released in 2011 and it delivers a pretty chillingly realistic portrayal of how a virus, a deadly virus, can spread uncontrollably throughout the world. And more importantly, it shows how governments and healthcare systems and society can respond to or fail to respond to that type of a crisis. Um, it, to me, it offers a number of realistic issues that have come up in real crisis scenarios. And in fact, Contagion, I think, predicted, uh, whether intentionally or not, some of the challenges that we were faced with during the COVID-19 global pandemic. So here's why I think Contagion is one of the best crisis management movies of all time. The first one is realism in the escalation of the crisis. Contagion mirrored to me real life crisis escalations where seemingly isolated incident that occurs at the beginning of the film rapidly spirals into a full blown global crisis. I thought the movie rather expertly captured the concept of contagion with this type of a virus um, in both how it spread and the accompanying fear that it created. As the crisis grows, there are cascading failures in healthcare, in public perception, in the government response, and those highlight the fragility of those systems that we often take for granted. And I think even post-COVID, we now take them for granted in a different way because of the politicalization that happened with COVID. We also saw in contagion the spread of misinformation through media and conspiracy theorists, it's a pretty accurate depiction of how crises today are not just fought on the front lines of hospitals and laboratories and public health, but also in the realm of public opinion. The second one that the second factor that stood out to me with contagion is what I think of as this breakdown in crisis communications. One of the most valuable lessons I took out of the movie is the importance of clear, transparent, and timely communications. The movie illustrates what happens when governments and agencies are slow to inform the public, when they're reluctant to bring um, forward what has happened and share that transparently. The delay in providing accurate information fuels more fear and distrust, and that leads to panic and the hoarding of food and medicine as we see in the movie and the breakdown of society. In a crisis, especially during a pandemic or any large-scale disaster, the most valuable currency is trust. And Contagion shows us how quickly that trust can be eroded if communication falters and how devastating the consequences can be when people feel that they have been left in the dark. The third thing in Contagion that stood out to me is this cross-functional collaboration under pressure. And we don't see the depth of this that would exist in real life, um, the number of agencies, the complexity of a national and global response. But what one of the most compelling agent, uh, aspects to me is just seeing that cross-functional collaboration between government, scientists, public health officials, law enforcement, and multiple countries. The movie illustrates how each of these risks become essential in crisis management, each of these roles rather, become essential in a crisis. There's tension between the scientific community's search for a vaccine and the political and economic implication, implications of decisions that reflect real world challenges. The movie to me emphasizes that crises are rarely contained to just one department or one sector or one silo. They require a coordinated multifaceted approach where teamwork and clear roles are critical to success. The fourth thing I take away from the movie is the role of leadership and the ethical dilemmas that arise. In the movie, movie uh, in the movie, leaders of all levels face ethical dilemmas, from who gets vaccinated first to how much information can be released to the public. 
Well, this mirrors the reality of crisis management, where decision makers often have to balance public safety with political, economic, and social pressures. The movie also showcases the burden, the challenges of leadership in a crisis. Leaders in the movie are forced to make quick decisions with incomplete information. They know that their choices can also mean life or death for thousands or even millions of people. So the film gives us a sobering reflection of the weight that is carried by leaders in this situation who are in positions of authority throughout this crisis. The fifth thing that the movie brings out for me is long-term resilience and recovery challenges. The end of Contagion doesn't just focus on survival, but it focuses on the rebuilding and recovery that has to happen. While the virus is eventually controlled through a vaccine, the implications to society are long-lasting. The movie highlights that crisis management is not just about responding to the immediate emergency, the response phase, but it's also about how do we plan for recovery and how do we build resilience for the next crisis. All of these are key takeaways for leaders in business continuity and crisis management. Crises don't end when that immediate threat is neutralized. True resilience comes from learning, adapting, and preparing for that next challenge. So if I sum this up, Contagion to me is not just a gripping thriller. I see many lessons and blueprints here for crisis management. We have the rapid escalation of a global pandemic, the breakdown of communication and trust. The movie, in my mind, touches on every critical aspect of managing a long-term crisis. It has realistic depictions of collaboration, of leadership under pressure, of the ethical dilemmas in a crisis, and the need for clear communication. And I think it's a must watch for anyone who is interested in a cinematic portrayal of a crisis. It shows us that in the midst of a chaos, uh, the midst of chaos, preparedness, that teamwork and transparency are our best tools for survival. That's my take on the best crisis management movie, at least made to date. Again, Contagion from 2011. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.